Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes, I raise up our two hands to the Lord. I pray for ourselves in this song. Holy Ghost, do we again, again, do we again in my life? 
to say if you're yeah, my own book while on earth as thou art go only do not pass me Savior, 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 Savior 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 in my own book and my own book cry do not pass. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, my own book. Hallelujah. On all that's now at school. do not pass me. And now alone. It's a great goal. Hallelujah. Yet he above over our Lord. Oh, yes, he's a great goal. Hallelujah. Yet he. I was lost, but uh, Jesus found me. Hallelujah, Father, she my one strength, but is loving more. But it's love arms around me, push me back to it. Alleluia. Sing it loud and clear, sing it loud and clear. Alleluia. Sing it loud and clear. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. John, 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 John. It's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh, yes, complete. 
Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Come. Send that fire. The Holy Ghost. Send the fire. the fire send the fire holy god send the fire fire again the holy god fire burning in my soul holy god the fire holy god some fire and take us the fire Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost and fire. Burning Ghost and fire. Our Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Our Lord God, the house by the earth and the earth by the house. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Hallelujah. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Hallelujah. Great and mighty God. Great in cancer, mighty in thee. Nothing, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for you. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything? Is there anything to hard for? Hallelujah! Is there anything? 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 Do I for you? Is there anything? Is there anything to have for? Yes, be all, be all. I am the, I am the Lord, I am all for flesh. Hallelujah. Is there, is there anything? Is there anything to have for? Hallelujah! Is there anything, anything, anything to ask for you? Is there anything? Is there anything to ask for? Yohan, 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 Yohan. The fullness of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness, the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The coolest of the God that bodily dwelleth in the Lord. Oh, uh, complete. Oh, yes, complete. Um. Hallelujah. Uh. Oh, yes. Um. Hallelujah. Uh. Complete. Amen. At this first meeting of the year, there are some prayers everyone is waiting to hear from our mouth, which will set the pace for us. It is important that you do not allow your voice to be lower than that of the person next to you. It is important that you pray these prayers from your heart with high faith in God. Believe in the Lord and as I'm saying it right now that that's how his power is going to be upon you throughout the year. Let me hear everybody here shouting this loud and clear after me. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah do what will make people rejoice with me this year. 
This is a great prayer. And I want you to pray seriously. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! Do what you make people rejoice with me this year. In the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth and begin to pray. Basente kaya bo shendera bakatara bo santa. Do you want to make people rejoice with me this year? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I reject every breakthrough miscarriage. Can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Basenta ni katenda raba. Rima sapendi kata. Baraka senta ya boshenta. In Jesus name we pray. Grab somebody by the two hands. Two hands. And pray for that person from your heart. And let that person pray for you too. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise. Either it's a he or a she. Give him testimonies that will wipe away insult. Are you ready? Open your mouth and pray now. Testimonies that will wipe away insults. Receive it now. Receive it now. Masapila katanda yaba. Testimonies that will wipe away insults. In Jesus' name we pray. Grab another person's hand. Pray the same prayer for that person. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Give up testimonies and will wipe away insult. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Masepo Katalika. Daribo Sopondeka. In Jesus' name we pray. Grab a third person by the hand and shout it loud and clear the person. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Alright. Give him testimonies and walk the way son. In the name of Jesus. The testimonies are wiped away in song. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. You may release your friend now. Thank you, Jesus. You will pray this for yourself loud and clear. My father. Close every mouth laughing at my destiny. In the name of Jesus, close them. Every mouth laughing at my destiny. Close them. Something is happening over there. The power of God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. A strange miracle is taking place. The internal organs of these two persons, a, a brother and a brother, a brother and a sister, is being brought out completely by the angels of God. And they are doing some repairs on those organs. And returning them to the body. 
silence now that has to be completed the organs have been taken out separated as it is on the floor repairing them returning them repairing them and 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 returning them That person that today is your first day here. Thank God you came here tonight. Because you are actually half buried. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that spirit of death is broken. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stubborn enemies of my destiny die in shame in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. That one. Command them to die in shame. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't be afraid. In Jesus name we pray raise up your two hands as you pray this prayer your two hands say this year my hands shall not go down in the name of Jesus open your mouth and profess unto your hands Jesus thank you Jesus Jesus, then we pray. Now, this prayer, we're praying seven times. Each time we pray it, somebody in this gathering will receive a noisy promotion. That is a promotion that will attract attention. God that to spoil my story. You are a liar. God. In the name of Jesus. That sucks. If they are God that to spoil my story, they are lying. In Jesus' name we pray. Get yourself ready. Number two. Open your mouth and pray now. That's right. Masekatea. Rimo kaponde kantia. Darialo kandayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to be more aggressive. This is number three. Open your mouth and pray. Sikatenayaboshanta. Yes, if you are gathered to spoil my story. In Jesus' name we pray. Number four, open your mouth and pray. Aha! Receive your own testimony. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Pastor, in Jesus' name we pray. Number five, open your mouth and pray. Ah, 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 ah. 
Makate sete ya boshendera bosanta. Riapo likatandala. In Jesus name we pray. Number six, open your mouth and pray. Aha, aha. Just in Jesus name we pray. This is the final one, number seven. Open your mouth and pray. Yes, if they are God that was promised for it, they cannot continue. Mashate sepola katanda raba. Da naribo sepola kaya boshenta. Da kapola boko sento ya boshenta raba. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you tired? <laughs> Every Covenant Amori. I bomb you by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every Covenant Amori. I bomb you by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Deal with the Covenant Amori. Jesus name we pray the Lord said this next one too, we should pray three times At each time this prayer is prayed here tonight it will enlarge the financial cost of somebody not only that it will raise a voice for somebody where there is no voice Say, God of Daniel, God of Joshua, God of Joseph, can I hear you shouting louder? Change my story by fire in the name of Jesus. Change my story by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the second time. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus name we pray. This is the third time I pray your mouth and pray. Change my story by far. In Jesus name we pray Father we thank you for a time like this and we thank you for your grace and power accept our thanks in Jesus name this night open our understanding lay your hands upon us moving our lives mightily Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Louder, amen. Let's have a God bless you. 
Say, my father. father. Empower me to succeed. Can I hear you say that again? Let me hear the sister say so. How about the brothers? That's our topic tonight. And that's the basis of our concluding prayers. In 2 Chronicles chapter 26. 2 Chronicles chapter 26. Verse 15. Second Chronicles 26, 15. It is good to open your Bible there. Are we there? And he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones without and his name spread far abroad for he was marvelously helped till he was strong he was marvelously helped by heaven till he was strong may heaven help you marvelously I say it again. May heaven help you marvelously. I say it a third time. May heaven help you marvelously. Everyone in life who is not a sick man or madman wants to be successful in life. But many do not understand what success entails or what it requires. What then is success? Success is what you do with your potentials. Success is accomplishing your set goals in life. Success is good journey towards your goals. Success is development of your untapped potentials. Success is ability to spend your life in God's own way. That is, ability to spend your life as it is written of you. Unfortunately, there are many people living their lives the way heaven has not written about them. Success is activating your inner powerhouse. Unto every man brought to this planet by the Almighty, a powerhouse to move you forward has been deposited. Your powerhouse may be in your hands. Your powerhouse may be in your brain. Your powerhouse may be in your voice. Your powerhouse may be in the way you hold yourself. Your powerhouse may be your mental capacity. Success is activating your inner powerhouse your powerhouse may be your virtues virtues that you need to activate to bring you what God wants to bring you a wicked man that got born again at a crusade many years back I'm talking about early 70s that day the crusade team how to mount a barricade by the stage so that those who came from the crusade would not go and attack the man who was giving testimony. This man began to give the testimony about how he surrendered his life to Jesus. He came to the stage with a black nylon bag and the first thing he brought out was a black padlock. And he said to us, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah. Somebody said hallelujah. I said, let me thank God for delivering me from the clutches of Satan. So I brought my satanic instruments here today for it to be destroyed. And he brought the first one out. A giant black padlock. 
Then it said, inside this padlock is logged up the virtue of 201 women, including his own two daughters. And that these 201 virtues are what he has been using himself to prosper. That anytime he wants to sleep with a woman, he will have the padlock in his pocket. It remains open. After the morality, it closes the padlock. And that ends the virtue of those women. And 201 virtues of people were inside that padlock which he had been using. He had been using. I pray that anyone here today, especially those that they keep hearing the word of God, they keep hearing the word of God. Anyone here today and your virtue right now has actually been padlocked. I command a release now by fire 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 in the name of jesus so success is activating your inner powerhouse success is achieving all that god created you to achieve success in prospering in every area of your life Success is discovering your best talents, your best skills and ability and applying them. You apply them to make the most effective contribution to your fellow men. Success, as far as the Bible is concerned, is the achievement of God's goals and purpose in your life. Success is doing those things that God has ordained you to do. Right from the foundation of the world. And doing them in a way that will satisfy God. Success is to positively contribute to the betterment of others. Success is doing God's will and being where God wants you to be. It has been well said by our ancient fathers that there can never be any blessing for the fish that decided to go to the tree. Success is to leave the world a bit better than you found it. Some people die and the members who live on, the people who live on the streets, they will gather and they begin to give testimony that Tango, that wicked man is gone. He left the world a worse place. Success is accomplishment beyond your wildest dreams. Success is thinking of yesterday without regret and thinking of tomorrow without fear. Success is making chariot wheels of all your difficulties. All those problems you're having becomes the chariot wheel to move you forward. Success is the maximum utilization of the ability that you have maximum utilization the ability that you have success is bouncing back when you hit the bottom bouncing back when you hit the bottom success is making your life a masterpiece such that you stand in the presence of God and you are not ashamed at all success is to know where you are going and go there and fulfill the purpose of God for your life. However, beloved, it is important to know that success is achieved in life through certain strategic empowerment. Certain strategic empowerment. That is, you receive some extra ability to be your best in life. Many people know about success. Many people desire success, but never attain it because of some limitations and constraints. However, through the supernatural and enabling power of the Holy Spirit, 
you can overcome all obstacles and reach your goal in life that's why i too am crying loud and clear, loud and clear here tonight say my father empower me to succeed by the power in the blood of jesus can you shout it loud and clear Shout it again! Shout it again! God took Joshua into the secret of success. When Joshua was reluctant and discouraged about taking over the leadership of Israel from Moses, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 Joshua 1 8 The Bible has this to say That this book of law Shall not depart out of thy mouth But thou shall meditate therein day and night That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success. Many who are successful in life and who have attained greatness in life can testify of spiritual abilities that enable them to be their best and become great. Joshua gave himself to the word of God and he became great in life. Through the supernatural power of God, it divided the river Jordan and Israel passed over to take their inheritance. God assigned a special angel to him, captain of the host of the army of the Lord, to be with Joshua. From the time that special angel was with Joshua, the war of inheritance over Canaan was just a walkover. They had stronger and more formidable enemies, but immediately he received that empowerment from that angel, it became a walkover. I see somebody here tonight. The angel that will empower you for success shall resume duty. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is what we call power to succeed. Success that is achieved is not just only by a dint of hard work or by natural means. You need a spiritually backed up success there are plenty of highly talented men who are complete failures there are plenty of intelligent people who are complete failures so you need divine assistance divine empowerment david was a bundle of success and he had great achievements he was anointed and empowered by God to rule and to prevail over the enemy. He got a great name in Israel. Moses was a stammerer who ran away from Pharaoh. Because the king of Egypt wanted to kill him. However, when God met him by the burning bush in the desert, he empowered him. And he became like a god to Pharaoh. And with that rod in the hand of Moses, he wrested the kingdom of Egypt out of the hand of Pharaoh. You shall be a god to your Pharaoh. Paul the apostle was somebody who persecuted the saints. He too was saved and empowered to convert the Gentiles. Eventually he finished well and he wrote more than half the books in the New Testament. And he attributed his success to empowerment from God. I pray that the Almighty will empower you in the name of Jesus. What are the different ways of divine empowerment to succeed? Ten. Let's take it very quickly. There are different means of getting empowered for success in life. Number one, through walking with God. Associating with God will make you to be successful in life. God is the primary source of light, power, and grace to succeed. 
The Bible says, in him was life, and this life was the light of man. When you walk with God, you cannot fail. You cannot be unsuccessful. For God will lead you to the place of greatness. God will lead you to the place of victory and breakthrough. The trouble is that we do our walking with God haphazardly. Some people only pray very well when they are happy. When they are not happy, they get depressed, they don't pray, they forget prayer. That time that you went on holidays in prayer school, the enemy will use it to run faster into your life. Number two, empowerment. Is that you can be empowered through the word of God. The word of God is the light that lightens our way. The lamb that gives light in darkness. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. And that word of God, when you believe in it and you practice it, you will have good success. You can be empowered, number three, true righteousness. Righteousness exalts a nation. For sin is a reproach to any people. Righteousness will facilitate your greatness. Whereas sin will lead to failure and ridicule. So if you want to succeed in life, you must live a righteous life. Righteousness is a defense and it has a voice that speaks on your behalf to defend you. But sin opens the door of destruction onto people's lives. Judas Iscariot will have fulfilled his prophetic and apostolic destiny. But it was destroyed by sin. Because of 30 pieces of silver. Four. You can be empowered through the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And by receiving spiritual gifts. Like we were taught on Monday here. God gives us the Holy Spirit to empower us. To teach, to guide, and to reveal things to us. Every believer should seek to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Every believer should seek spiritual gifts. Five. Through violent faith. The Bible says, see, that believer God must be that he is. And that is a reward of those that diligently seek him. When you seek God, you must believe that he is. When you come to God, you must believe that he is. And it's a reward of those who diligently seek him. The Bible says, if you believe, all things are possible. Six. You can be empowered through prayer. You can pray yourself into relevance. You can pray yourself into focus. Through prayer, you can subdue the, the powers that wants to subdue your success. Through prayer, you can be empowered to win the battles of life. Through prayer, you can get wealth. Through prayer, you can become a strong professional. Through prayer, you can receive power to live for God. There is no kind of miracle that prayer has not done before. Seven. You can be empowered through the intervention of ministering spirits. Angels of God are called ministering spirits. They are sent forth to minister to the saints of God. They have assisted plenty of believers to be successful. Even Jesus our master at a stage received angelic assistance. An angelic assistance released Peter from jail. An angelic assistance helped the king Ezekiel to destroy the Assyrians. At all times, we need the supernatural assistance of ministering spirits. Eight. We can be empowered through visions and revelations. Visions, revelations, divine ideas. You need to have your Joseph's dream. You need to have a revelation on what to do. You need information from heaven that will make you shine. You need information from heaven that will make you overtake those who have gone before you. Many people have been as assisted to achieve greatness by divine revelation. The Bible said, Thus said the Lord, Thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, which delivered thee by the way thou shalt go. That's Isaiah 48, 17. Number nine. You can be empowered through diligence and hard work. The Bible says, Said thou a man who is diligent in his work, he will stand before kings. He will not stand before mean men. You can do that by hard work. You can be empowered by hard work. Lastly, you can be empowered through 
brokenness. When you are completely broken, you become a member of the council of heaven. God makes you a favorite person. He will confide in you. He will talk to you. Then what, what is written in Amos 3, 7 happens? That God does nothing except he first reveals it to his servants, the prophet. That happens when you are completely broken. Tonight, our major prayer is that God should empower us to succeed in 2010 and beyond. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight, you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, just raise up your right hand where you are as I pray now. Father, I thank you for these people. Lay your hands upon them. Accept them into your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you said amen to that prayer, immediately we close. Just find a way to the altar here so we can pray more with you. Now, Uzziah was marvelously helped until he became strong. He was the first king to devise engines and his fame spread abroad. As many people as are here tonight, and you want Evans to announce your name, we want him to empower you to succeed. It is important you pray these prayers from the bottom of your heart. My father, empower me to succeed in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray like that. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to be more aggressive than that. If I have fallen, I bounce back seven times. The name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. I bounce back seven times. Jesus name we pray every good thing I touch this year shall prosper in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray it In Jesus' name we pray. Now, if you pray this next prayer and you lose your voice and it happens, you've made a great bargain. You will shout this loud and clear. Oh, heavens! <laughs> Baptize my destiny with success. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Let your voice roll like thunder. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. My destiny with success. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.